What's up guys, my name is Javier and welcome back to Tool Craze. Last year 2014 was a pretty good year for coilless nailers, as Ryobi came out with three new 18 volt nailers, an 18 gauge brad nailer, an 18 gauge crown nailer, and even a 16 gauge finish nailer. This year 2015 Ryobi is at it again with yet another coilless nailer, the P330 18 volt 15 gauge angled finish nailer, giving you more options to choose from to choose the right nailer for the right job. This nailer uses 15 gauge brad nails. I know some would think that 16 gauge or even 18 gauge sounds like they're larger. The fact is that the lower the gauge, the larger the nail thickness is. So the larger or thicker the nail is, the more grip it has. This nailer is going to allow you to nail things together with greater strength than regular brad nails. It can use 15 gauge nails from 1 inch all the way up to 2.5 inches and it comes packaged with 500 2 inch nails so you can get to work right out of the box. You can still use this 15 gauge nailer for trim work or woodworking and the larger nails make good use for heavier work such as installing door frames or even cabinet building. And because of the larger nails it requires more power to sink them. More power means a larger piston and chamber which in turn leads to a larger tool. The fact is that this nailer is considerably larger than comparable pneumatic nailers and is even heavier as well. It weighs in at 7.8 pounds and that's without the battery. Sure that sounds heavy as it is but I feel it's still manageable. I don't think the weight will be a big deal unless you're doing lots of overhead work. So even though it's larger and heavier than pneumatic nailers, the benefits are you don't need an air compressor and to drag around a hose. And because it's battery powered, you don't need to use and replace any fuel cells. So in those senses it's much more convenient. And unlike the previous airstrike nailers with straight magazines, this nailer has a magazine on the side and an angle configuration. This allows you to fit into inside corners very easily and so you can shoot nails with these at an angle. So besides the larger 15 gauge nails that it uses and the angle nail design, it's still very similar to the rest of the airstrike line of nailers. In fact it uses the same built in air compression design as the previous nailers. And when you shoot nails, the built in compression feels very close to that of pneumatic nailers. The compressed air pressure can be regulated through the back to increase or decrease pressure for use with hardwood or soft woods. And on top of that, you can also adjust the nail depth with this knob. This way you decide how deep you want the nails to go, either flush or below the surface. You also have two options to fire nails. You can set it to single fire mode and in this mode you make contact with the surface and then press the trigger to fire. And if you want to move a bit faster you can set it to bump fire mode. In this setting you press and hold the trigger and bump on contact to fire as many times as you want while holding the trigger. And unlike pneumatic nailers that can shoot nails instantly, there is a slight delay with this nailer as the nail has to compress air for about a split second with each shot. And you also have to hold the trigger the entire time the gun is compressing air, otherwise you can stall the nail gun. So while there is a delay when shooting, I wouldn't call this nailer slow at all as you can still move along at a pretty good pace. And also because of the angled magazine design, it lets the gun shoot at an angle very easily because the magazine wraps around the side and isn't straight down in the way. Let me give you guys a tip so you get great results when shooting at an angle. If you want to shoot nails at an angle below the surface, make sure to remove the green tip. If you don't need to shoot at an angle, the nail will stick out just a bit. As you can see here. But once you remove the green tip, it allows for more room for the tip to make better contact and you can now sink nails just below the surface if you wish. The reason for the tip being there in the first place is because it's a non-marring tip, so you don't leave any marks behind when you touch the surface. When you do take it off, there's a chance the metal tip may leave a mark. If you do decide to take it off, just make sure to store it and not lose it. But in case you do, there's an extra tip on the end of the magazine in case you lose the first one. You have all the conveniences of the rest of the airstrike nailers such as the built in LED light. And it stays on for about 10 seconds so you don't have to press the button the entire time you need it. And the light activates automatically just by simply gripping the tool as your grip naturally presses the button just below the trigger on the grip. It comes with a bell clip so you can hang it on your belt, but because of the long magazine that wraps to the left side of the handle, the bell clip can only be placed on the right side of the gun. This is fine and dandy if you're left handed as you can easily place a nailer on your left side. But if you're a right hander like me, you're out of luck. 
You can still hang the gun on your right side if you want to, but you have to turn the gun around so it's facing forward to get the bell clip to hang on your right side. Another downside of the long magazine is that the length of the magazine causes it to extend beyond the battery and thus you can't stand it up on its own like you could with the previous airstrike nailers. But the good news is that you can lay it down in the angled shooting position and the handle is facing out ready to be picked up. So I got to test it out putting up trim on a window I installed. And just like the 16 gauge airstrike rivalry nailer I tried, it performed very well for the job. It was a hard hitter with power similar to a pneumatic nailer. I used a 4.0 amp hour battery and the battery didn't even drop a bar so it leads me to believe you'll get great run time. Ryobi even claims you can get up to 750 nails shot on a single charge with a large 4.0 amp hour battery. While testing it out I didn't get any nails to jam but in case you do jam nails are very easy to clear and require no tools to do so. Just flip up this latch to open the top of the magazine and pull out the jam nail and that's it. It's very easy. This new 15 gauge nailer retails for around $230 and it comes with a bare tool only, so no batteries or charges are included. And you get performance very close to that of pneumatic nailers, although it is bigger and it's heavier. It is heavier than regular air guns, but it's still manageable even for a small dude like me, although it will wear you out quicker when working overhead. But either way, I prefer not having to drag around a hose and bring an air compressor to the job site. All I have to do is pop a fresh battery in and I'm ready to get to work. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know your thoughts on this new 15 gauge airstrike nailer from Ryobi in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, and follow me on social media and over at the web at toolcraze.net for more tool reviews and news. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.